Welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 14, Episode 8 of Supernatural, entitled Byzantium. Byzantium. Something like that. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the stream, everything in between all... All the episodes. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay. All of the episodes of Supernatural so far are uh, over there on Patreon as well here on YouTube. Last episode was really about Nick. The beginning, the ending, him kind of like wanting relief from this thing to not wanting relief to trying to bring back Lucifer, it feels like. And killing some people along the way to try to get closure from his wife and his child's murders. We get Jack almost in the process of dying as well, but kind of getting some angel grace and a spell from a shaman that goes sideways. Rowena kind of saying he's dying. My running theory is I don't know if Lucifer's essence will go into Jack or something dark will go in him to save him, or they'll just figure out another way, ex machina, to, to save him. We haven't seen Ketch in person in a while. Again, Bobby and Mary off in Donna's cabin. Charlie was there a couple episodes ago. Uh, everybody else just out and about. Nick doing his thing. Jack on death's door. Sam, Dean, Cass on the house as well as Rowena at the moment. No other hunters that live in this bunker have been around the last couple episodes, which has been kind of weird. The one thing we haven't touched on in quite a while is Michael and his army. One thing we haven't touched on in quite a few since the last season was when the cult was destroyed, or maybe those two seasons ago now when they almost killed uh, Mary Klein when she was pregnant with the baby. And they were fighting Dagon, whatever her name was. The cult's been destroyed. They said maybe they can fix it. I don't know if that's something they've been working on, but why not try to put our efforts into fixing that? Because that could take care of this Michael's, not Michael himself, but his army of things that the vampire's no longer dead man's blood, and werewolf's no longer allergic to silver, this, that, and the other. Just fucking fix the cult. Duh. Get to it. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes, and we can get into episode number eight. Ben, Ben, Benzino. I took a pill in a bezo. Show a Vici I was cool. Hey, it's all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. It's all right. It's all right. Maybe this is how things are supposed to be. Jack, no, the f it's not. Don't give me that meant to be crap. This isn't part of some damn plan. Dean. It's not. <laughs> no, let him let him talk. <coughs> they got oxygen. <coughs> He can't be in the room for it. Nope. You don't want to see it. You don't want to be around it. Oh, Sam is just... Sam's a wreck. What happens next? For someone like me. Hey, you go to the Black Ooze, brother. It's gonna be an adventure. What an optimistic little shit. Oh, that would have just broke my heart. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, we don't know. We don't know. You don't know, I don't know. No, nobody knows for sure. The outlook of it's gonna be an adventure. I like that. Again. He's gone. Just like that. No. Supernatural. Do the thing. We already do the thing. I don't remember. There it is. Oh, I ain't buying it. Not even for half a second. Am I buying it? Sorry. No, no. Anyway, to tell you the truth, it'd be really nice to hear your voice. You could uh, just call us back. Hit me back just to chat. Truly yours, your biggest son. This is not Sam, it's Dean. <laughs> he didn't say nothing to him. Didn't even try to stop him. Yeah, space. In the bunker with us, not this. Cass didn't know. Dean, look. He didn't know. 
What did he take? He take the whip. He took baby. Brother, bounce. Took your shit too and everything, Dean. Tell me you didn't make a deal. A deal? What the? No. I was trying to build a pyre. Broke ass some bitch. Use your hands, you big ass ox. Tomorrow. Tonight. We get loaded. <laughs> I mean, what else can you do? Yeah. Hey, dude, getting drunk eating his Snickers is wild. I, I support it. I support it. Lebinsky's Kentucky Whiskey. To be fair, Kentucky doesn't make whiskey. They make bourbon, which is also whiskey. But still. Probably in that fucking black ooze with old Lucy. That boy in heaven eating a burger. Take it easy. Could you imagine seeing that shit in real life? I'd throw up. Fucking sky starts flashing. I don't know. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, the power in heaven. No, Jackie boy got to go to heaven. Not the CGI black goo. Black goo makes me think of one thing, and that's just Leviathans, and that's disgusting. So. But also, them sitting around drinking was a wholesome moment. Please drink responsibly. Uh, as they just share their memories and moments and it gets a little too real. I remember sitting with some friends. We all drank around this table. Shot, 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 shot. Shots, shot. You know, not the little John. You know what I'm saying. But, and then it's fun. It's laughing. Everybody's having a good time. And then it just, sometimes just a single moment gets super emotional. Uh, and I think that's what happened to Sam there. I think it hit him while he was in that headspace. And that's just a no-no. That name sounds really, really, really okay. familiar. Last thing I remember was her killing a whole bunch of angels to get revenge for her daughter. She tried to kill yes. you. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Yes. Not... Dean, listen. Yeah, yeah. Season 12, she had the one eye. She was going through getting revenge for people for killing her daughter. Bing, bam, boop. I'm with you. I'm with you. I guess old girl didn't want to come back. Last night, after about... What are we even talking about? It, it's right. too late. Jack's dead. His soul's gone, right? Maybe not. If Jack is in heaven, I might be able to pull his soul into his body. It would only be for a few seconds. That's all the time I need. Of course, they don't decide who goes up or who goes down. Then who does? Anubis, guardian of the dead. The ancient Egyptians believed that when you die. Anubis this whole time. That's who's picking and choosing, pressing up and down button. Anubis would weigh your heart on his scale against Justice's feather. Yeah. What just an absolute vomit of exposition right there. Whatever happened to the old guy that guarded the angel or the guarded the angel, uh, guarded the garden. I talked to Sam and Dean in like the early episodes of the first couple seasons. That guy was nice. The dog ain't coming back. Roosevelt! Name your dog after a president. It's crazy. Look at him, though. He's a little guy. Oh, little buddy. Oh, 
Oh, he went to go talk to Mary Klein. Oh. Can we actually, do we actually have her? No, oh, that's good stuff. Jack. Hey, Kelly. It's <laughs> Since it's you in the flesh up in heaven, uh, I know I've done it before. Just my, my bad. My bad. That's all I mean. I treat you pretty poorly. Under the circumstances, justified, but still. What's going on with the demons and stuff now that Asmodeus is gone, everybody's gone? What are they what are they up to down there? Lucifer gone. Not knowing anything going on with the demons since Lucifer's been dead. He's permanently well say that loosely. All the other people just mentioned are gone. Like, shouldn't they be in chaos or something down there? This feels like something I'd want to know, I guess. That black goo everywhere. Hello? Heaven ain't paying the light bill. That brother did. Well, they said there was like 11 angels left. Uh, make it nine. I feel like it's going to come down to Cass being the only angel left. Joe got to be somewhere. Uh, Allie from the 100. But don't you need... Where the fuck is Chuck and Amara? Zuriel. Oh, Stay Kip up. Oh, there she is. Duma. Empty. The darkness, the shadow. I'm surprised you didn't recognize its handiwork, Castiel. I thought you were old friends. Oh, never mind that thing. What is this place? Nothing <laughs> but empty. It's nothing but empty. You all come here when you die. How did you know? I'm so glad it had nothing to do with the Leviathans. I think we dodged a bullet on that one. The only one of us who ever escaped. I'm an accountant. I don't have that kind of power. <laughs> yeah, right. Like you or God has never made an exception. That's right. Because God doesn't decide. I don't decide. You do. Each of you. Your individual choices. All tallied up at the precise moment of your death. I mean, that's a that's a clear, a clear, fair way to keep it, you know. But I still call bullshit. I'm just saying. Keep me here. Try and kill me. It is not going to change Lily Sunder's fate. That's his little boy. Better give Kelly a Hello, hug too, man. Kelly. Yeah, give her a little hug. Go ahead, bring it in. Yeah, little hug on hug. I'm so sorry. Why him? Because Jack is half angel, and yeah. the angels, when we die, we go to another place. It's a place that's just, just the worst. Nothing. Just the it? worst. God's like, hey, I'm gonna make these little creatures. It's gonna all be around me, and just you know, my my elves basically in my workshop, my Santa's workshop, and then they just, when they die, they just sit in darkness. Entity. It won't stop until it finds you. But if you're not here, if you're alive, then it'll leave heaven. Smart. Duma. Try again. Ah, oh, it's not Duma. You've been deceived. Venom. You're not even human anymore. Not really. Dang. Otherwise, how could you ever? Ever let anyone go through what you went through? He ain't told a single fucking the pain lie. Of losing a kid? There you go. Guilt trip her into doing do it. This to us. That's our boy. That's our boy. You're the empty. Pretty good, huh? You ready to go? They always got her starting off innocent and then turn into some psychopath. I like it. Stay away from him. Still, you know how this goes. The good souls here, the bad souls there. Angels are fine. Enough. Stop interrupting! Yes, ma'am. Start paying attention. Take me. <laughs> A little louder, please. Normally he says that to Dean. Take me in his stead. Take me. You. I'm the one you want. I'm the one who woke you up. 
I want you to suffer. I want you to go back to, to your normal life and then forget about this and forget about me. And, and then when you finally give yourself permission to be happy and let the sun shine on your face. When I'll come. <laughs> That's when I'll come to drag you to nothing. I accept. <laughs> That's all you had to say to get that motherfucking uh, slime ball to leave you alone. So let's cast his fate. Hi, Duma. Where am I? Squish your face one time for the one time air jacket boy. <laughs> Kip up. Uh. Mm, God, uh. <coughs> I'd be like, motherfucker, these are just syllables. <laughs> They're just words and sounds and. <laughs> hey, I'm okay. Hey, guys. So now Cass is broad. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. I feel good. I wasn't part of his soul, was it? Y'all done fucked up. Done took the goodness out of his boy, didn't you? Cass has now brought back Sam, Dean, and Jackie. <laughs> she gone. Put her ass in the goddamn dumpster really? or in a wood chipper. I think that was her last act. Literally. <laughs> That sucks, man. I like Lily Sunder. I thought she was cool. No, oh, that's wholesome as shit. Kelly Klein. Hello, Castiel. What's up, Naomi? You fucking relax. Goof nut ass. Just, just don't, don't like I'm nothing here to about thank her. You. Oh yeah, the lights are on. They're not blinking. What you did. The Archangel Michael's location. You know where he is. We have an idea. And word is, you've been looking for him. You've been holding out this whole time? You knew about this? We ain't seen that brother since like episode three. Burger. You got that boy got a veggie burger. You tell by looking at it. Good job. Something wrong? No, slap nuts. No. We're just happy you're alive. <laughs> no, not at all. Just damn glad to have you back. Yeah. And we know where Michael is. Not quite sure how you pulled that one off. Well, we uh, we still don't know where Dark Kaya is or the spear. I feel like. Maybe we were pulling the trigger a little too early on this stuff. Uh, unless they're bringing Lucifer back to be like, you know, finishing him off in season 13, as anticlimactic as it was. I feel like that should be the end all be all of 15, or maybe something where both brothers die at the end of 15, or they both have their peace and they finish off Lucifer and Michael at some point, And then maybe God and Chuck and Amara grant them access to heaven, something along those lines, right? Sam and Dean with John. I got this like end game visual in my head with John and Mary and Bobby and I don't know it just feels weird to me I don't, I don't know where it's gonna go is this all feels very odd the Winchesters cut a deal with a surprising ally to save Jack who's being stalked for his soul as Castiel faces a new threat so Castiel basically gives up his he just tells the darkness I'm yours when the time comes as soon as I feel happiness boom you come get me as soon as I forget about you and feel happiness sun shining on my face blah, 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 I'm yours Jack, back alive, Lily Sunder gives up her soul. She can now go see her daughter. It's kind of weird they didn't give us that scene. I feel like it would have been pretty emotional and pretty heavy to watch those two together, but they 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 robbed us of it. And that's kind of that's kind of whack. 
I thought Naomi died because she had the darkness around her, but I guess that wasn't a thing. So it's like we just lost Zerio. We lost one angel. Doom is fine. Kelly Klein's in heaven. While this does progress the story, it also kind of just feels weird. Jack dies. He comes back. I don't, I don't really have much else to say about it. Hopefully it teaches him a lesson that, you know, like you said, when it comes down to Michael or Dean, the greater good, like, we saved you, bud. You're our kid. We saved you. I uh, I want to get more of Nick and Lucifer because I feel like that is the best thing that's happening within this season. And I think that's where the focus should be. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Is is that Jack? Like, is he is he all there with his soul? That wasn't answered either. Maybe it's implied, but not fully answered. Anyways, season fourteen, episode eight, uh, Byzantium. Just the title. Season fourteen, episode nine will be entitled "The Spear, the Gore," whatever you want to call it. I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute. Stay hydrated. I'll catch you on the next one.